Hello,、uh, my name is Katsuya Kimura. I'm working at the Omoto International Department.、Uh, today, I would like to have a lecture about Omoto, the founder's Nao Deguchi. Omoto is a Shinto religion. Shinto is the oldest religion in Japan. Omoto means the great origin.、Uh, this is a symbol mark of Omoto, ten circles. Ten means the perfection. Omoto's history begins on the night of the lunar new year, January 30, according to the, the solar calendar, in 1892. When the founderless Nao Deguchi had the first of a series of celestial visions that eventually led her to become medium for the god Ushitora no Konjin for 27 years. Nao Deguchi was living in great poverty at the age of 55. When the spirit of the god Ushitora no Konjin first came to visit her on Setsubun night. Setsubun is Japanese folk ritual to herald the coming of spring. It is on February the 3rd. Thereafter, while devoting her life to ameliorating the world's troubles, And praying for the peace and harmony of all mankind, now took up blush to begin writing the Ofude Saki, a record of divine revelations received from the God. Now was born on January 22nd in 1837, December 16th. On the lunar calendar of the year Tempo 7 in 1836 on the Japanese calendar. In current Kamikoya town, Fukuchiyama city, Kyoto prefecture in Japan, as the eldest daughter of Goro Saburo Kirimura, a carpenter, and his wife Soyo. This is a map. Of Japan and Fukushima locates on the west part of Japan.、Uh, this is a picture of Fukushima around 1900. Also, this is a street near Kamikoya town around 1900. In the midst of what is known as the terrible famine of the Tempo、uh, from 1833 to 1845, in a year when you cannot even live by a bad harvest, now was born as the soul of destiny and as a divine will.、Uh, this is well for Nao's first birth in the Kirimura family. Goro Saburo Kinimura, her father, was a carpenter by trade. But the family was so poor that from her infancy she had a very hard life. She was a nursemaid for a time, and then later she worked as an under servant at several merchant families to help support her family. Uh, this picture is a current place in Kamikoya town, Fukuchiyama, where Nao was born. Her filial devotion was officially commended when she was 12 years old by the Lord of the Clan as one of the three dutiful girls in the do domain. At 16 years old, 
she left the work as an under servant so as to help her mother at home. When she was 17, in 1853, she was adopted as a daughter by the Deguchi family in Ayabe, where her aunt in the maternal line became her stepmother. The distance between Fukuyama and Ayabe is almost 10 kilometers. Uh, this is the chronology of the founders now. Uh, Fukuyama Ella passed to around 20 years old. In 1836, December 16, Founders now was born in Kamikoya town, Fukuyama, as the eldest daughter of Gorosaburo Kirimura. When now was six years old, her father Gorosaburo started peddling amazake, it's a traditional sweet low alcohol Japanese drink made from fermented rice. Because his household was impoverished. In 1846, now was 10 years old, her father Goro Saburo passed away at the age of 41. The same year, now worked as an under servant at the Kanaya Shinbei's house in Kamiyanagi town, Fukuyama. In 1848, now was 12 years old, she was honored by the feudal lord of Fukuyama as a filial duty daughter after she was working as an under servant for three years. When now was 13 years old, she worked as an under servant at the Kinugawa family at the Minatoya Shigesuke's family and etc. In 1850, now worked as an under servant at the sweet barn store of the Izumiya Seibei in Naiki town. When now was 15 years old, she worked as an under servant at the Komekyu Kimono store, Nakai Kyubei's house. In 1852, now was 16 years old, she quit work and returned to her home in Kamikoya town, Fukuyama, to help her mother. In 1853, now was 17 years old, as Yuri Deguchi, a younger sister of Nao's mother Soyo, living in Ayabe, had wanted Nao to be an adopted daughter. Nao went to Ayabe. But Nao returned to her home in Fukuyama after six months. In 1854, Nao was 18 years old, her aunt Yuri Deguchi passed away at the age of 49. Next year, now was 19 years old, she went to Ayabe again as an adopted daughter of the Deguchi family. And then she became the wife of Masagoro Deguchi, a carpenter. Masagoro was with a good arm at work but his character was weak. He was an unrivaled drinking lover, addicted to theater going, and an extraordinary optimist. Now worked diligently to feed her eight children. Now and Masagoro had eight children, now gave birth to a total of 11 children, three of whom she lost early. 
So she took care of three boys and five girls in the difficult life. Masagoro was hurt whilst working, which caused paralysis. In 1885, he fell from a high roof's edge and hit his pelvis in the workplace. That injury, and the, under the influence of bad drinking for years, evoked paralysis and he had to lie down in bed for about two years. Now nursed Masagoro with great self-sacrifice and devotion. On March 1st in 1887, Masagoro died at the age of 60. The funeral was done by the expense of the neighbors, and it was said to have been a truly solitary funeral. With the death of Masaburo, now 32-year marriage life ends. Now was 50 years old. After Masagoro's death, now made a living by making buns and selling them, also by cobwebbing, that was buying and reselling paper scraps, now spent the entire first half of her life in very hard work. Uh, this is a picture uh, of Moto Yashiki in Ayabe. Uh, Omoto Center. The original place where our founders now lived and had Kishin. Uh, this is a miniature of Nao's house. Very tiny house. Kishin, to be possessed by God. Nao met her 56th birthday in the lunar calendar in 1892. On the night of the new year, January 30, according to the solar calendar, Nao was suddenly covered in an aromatic odor, and she was invited into a wonderful world of fantasy. Now stood in incomparable dazzling pomp in a beautiful palace. As she stepped into that sublime scenic spot, she met respectably noble gods. Such revelatory dream continued every night, and she was led into the world of the divine. It was like a precursor to the Kishin, to be possessed by God. Kishin is called the state when the human spirit receives the inner flow of divinity directly, and directly from the great origin was the master God, and is united with divine. Kishin means reconciling oneself to the, the divinity of the great origin, which is the source of our spirit. That is why Kishin is the true state of the spiritual world most necessary for a prophet by direct reception of the inner flow of the divine. Deep in the night of the fifth day of January, 1892, according to the lunar calendar, uh, it was light in the Setsubun 
of February the third. Ryo, twelve years old, and Sumiko, ten years old, later the second spiritual leader of Moto, witnessed their mother with great application pouring water of the well to her body under the fo- frosty cold night sky night sky. Kishin did begin at that night. Being in the state of Kishin, now felt her body very heavy, full of strength. Now's forehead warmed, her body straightened. Soon the body is slowly shaking with a slight bend backwards. The knees alternately move up and down with sound. The chin was tightened. The eyes shine. And from the bottom of the abdomen comes a great voice full of majesty. The voice is out of Nao's consciousness, and she couldn't suppress the voice with her teeth clenched. And the voice was the voice of the man. When Kishin was over for some time, she felt an innumerable weariness for some time, as if the soul had completely let her go. This Kishin took place indiscriminately both day and night, and for 13 days from the 3rd of February, according to the new calendar, it was so intense that she could neither eat nor fall asleep. Now was upset, and she tried to shake off the god who suddenly possessed her. When she saw that this was not possible, she could only negotiate directly with the god who possessed her. Now questions the mysterious voice as follows. Your Majesty, who are you? Please introduce yourself in detail. To this question echoes in her something gravely heavy and groaning, together with an aromatic spiritual air from the bottom of her lower belly. This is the god Ushitano no Konjin however, with the male voice. This voice trembled around the chest, and there was a strong impulse almost stopping to her breath. And at the same time, the circumference of the mouth moved naturally. But a beautiful, delicate voice rings in Nao's ears. Now's anxiety grew. Please withdraw from my body, she complained. Whether her request was heard or not, however, God began to encourage now. I, Ushitano no Konjin, will now begin to guard your body. On God's side, there was a sense of urgency. Such, que- such questions and answers seem to the bystanders her own dialogue. But on attentive listening, Nao's words sounded in the usual modest voice, and the voice of God sounded in a necessarily strong male voice. The greater world shall burst into bloom as plum blossoms, I at winter's end, I with the Konjin have come to reign at last. The God with the Konjin, 
The Creator God, 国と子たちの御こと。Through the foundress now 出口、The God, 牛様の根人 declared, He would restore and rebuild the troubled earth and create an ideal divine world of harmony and joy for all people, called the world of Miroku, the heavenly kingdom on the earth. In ancient times, during the age of the gods, the creator, God, Kunitoko Tachi no Mikoto, Ushisama no Konjin, ruled over the gods and the earth. It was a very good world that he established. But with the passing of time, some of the other gods came to grow arrogant and believe in might over light. Plunging the world into chaos. 国と子たちの御子と felt he must assume responsibility for the sins of the other gods, and on Setsubun, the last day of winter, he went into hiding in the Ushitora, northeast region of the world. Long eons passed by, and the chaos on earth grew so severe that Queen Tokotachi no Mikoto, who had been protecting the world from the shadows, felt he must return to the world to save it from ruin.、Uh, this is a painting by Onisaburo Deguchi, Ushitoro no Konjin, Queen Tokotachi no Mikoto. Of the Saki, the original holy scriptures of Omoto. Although the foundress now was iterate and could neither read nor write, while visited by God Ushitoro no Konjin, she began recording his words using automatic writing.、Uh, this is the Of the Saki. Writing almost entirely in the hiragana syllabary, founders now transcribed the of the saki, the tip of the brush, on over 200,000 sheets of paper, working on it for 27 years until her passing. Of the saki, January in 1892. The greater world shall burst into full bloom like plum blossoms do simultaneously. The time for me, God to Ushitora no Konjin, to reign has come at last. This means the world opened like plum blossoms shall be heaven ruled as evergreen pine tree. This is a world where things shall never go well without God's care. Know you, the world has hitherto been and is that of beast, the stronger playing upon the weaker, quite devilish. Alas, the world of beast. You are so cheated by the devil as to be quite unconscious of the truth, a dark age. If things are left as they stand, order shall not be kept in the world. Therefore, through the manifestation of divine power, the greater world shall be reconstructed. And transformed into an entirely new world. After going through an overall cleaning, the greater world shall be changed into the kingdom of heaven, 
where the peace will reign through all ages to come. Be prepared for peace to reign through all coming. Prepare yourself for that humanity. Never shall the word of God fail. There shall be nothing that comes unto even by the breadth of a single hair. Know that should God err, he would be non-existent in the world. This world should be the heavenly kingdom. I will unity all the world and change it into one. The way to achieve that will be tourism, tourism to the utmost. But fear not, because the plan has been wrought for more than for several tens of millions of years. And I will bring strength to those leaders who hold high ranks in the world, if they only begin to understand me. To tide over this great crisis of the world to come, you must be humble and obedient to God and prepared to face whatever troubles and difficulties come. Without such an attitude of mind on the part of people, things cannot be achieved. This is why I will caution you over and over again. During 27 years from 1892, the founders now wrote the of the Saki in the state of the divine possession. The of the Saki, which reached the number of 200,000 calligraphy seats, was an admonition from God to all mankind. It was a book of prophetic warning. About the of the Saki, by Nao Hideguchi. Nao Hideguchi, granddaughter of the foundress Nao, wrote about the Ofdesaki in her book, Notebook of the Heart, published in 1968. Grandmother has always lived in a clear, tender world with a hidden sharp sensitivity. So at the Ofdesaki about the restore and reconstruction of the world handwriting by my grandmother, there is a fundamentally clear warmth. This was due to the fact that against the background of the personality and experience of life of my grandmother appeared the revelations of God, and such revelations the grandmother accepted sternly with her tender, warm personality dedicated in her hall. Reading Grandmother's Divine Revelation is a really important point, I think. Uh, this, this is a picture of the Nao Hideguchi, granddaughter of the founderless Nao the third special leader of Omoto. When we look intently at the flow of the history from when this of the sake came out, we feel certain that the difference between good and bad fortunes is being reduced step by step. In the changes of history, especially in modern times, work as a gear respectively the wisdom and the passion of the people. But history does not move by the gears on alone. 
and I feel that it is being worked out by another great wave. This sometimes happened in the form of something bouncing. Suddenly it may even appear in the history. There I feel a wonderful providence. Of the Saki, September 30, 1892. Without the elimination of good and bad fortunes in the world, nothing will go well. So far, there have been too many good and bad fortunes, so I, God Ushtanon Konjim, will make the people change their hearts to make equitable world. With one change of hurt, they will get better. It has long been said that it is time for tumultuous. In this 150 years, the world, the society, the nation, and the human mind have all changed dramatically. The word of God shown through now has appeared in the world one after another as a historical fact. We feel that they are becoming a new tide through modern history. There is a big wave there. The Ofudesaki was written over the course of 27 years until 1918. The amount reached 200,000 sheets of paper. Everything was written automatically, so now's own will didn't interfere at all. L the letters were all learned and in a distinctive writing style, so that is not easy to read. But the writing style in the beginning and that after 27 years are completely, completely identical. And it seems primitive writings in at the first sight, but when one sees the writing with a concentrated hurt, one notices that their flaws are distinctive ch character which is not the writing of ordinary people. Tangen Ayamura, a calligrapher, expressed the impression of Nao's writing as follows. From the beginning of the brush to the end, it takes almost equal brush pressure, equal width, and it's written with equal speed. This tells that the writer always maintained an unchanging state of mind. And it was not five seats, ten seats, but thousands of seats. So we just have to be amazed. One cannot write such thick and deep letters freely without adequate ability. At every single letter, one sees that it is full of generous richness and warmth without a thorn. They are therefore not scribbled, but were easily written, and in them one can see a strictly novel. The contents of the of the Saki can be divided into the following. The origin and mission of Omoto's appearance, the relationship between God and man, the mission of the Japanese people, prophecy and warning to mankind. As shown in the of the Saki, it worries about the end of the world facing ruin. Humanity is urged to awaken and, moreover, 
are restored and reconstructions of three worlds, material, obscure, and divine. That is nothing but teaching of God to build an ideal society on earth. Its expression is strong, resolute, and full of boundless authority and poetry. The God who possesses the founders now is called God Ushitora no Konjin, but the name of God is not found in our classic in Japan. But in Ofudesaki reads, though the God Ushitora no Konjin began this world, but because of his too strong、uh, peculiarity, he was imprisoned in Ushitora, northeast, for several tens of millions of years, and had protected the world in shadow. April 7th, 1900. And it has been shown that this God Ushita no Konjin is Kunitoko Tachi no Mikoto. Kunitoko Tachi no Mikoto can be found in the classic Kojiki, records of ancient matters, Japan's oldest historical record, and Nihon Shoki, Chronicles of Japan. At Omoto, We respect the god Kunitoko Tachi no Mikoto as the ancestor of the great earth, which is the origin of this world which he established, and which is also called the father of the nation. It is a time after receiving the heavenly command that the greater world be taken care of by Kunitoko Tachi no Mikoto. Dropped to the northeast, July 14, 1914. And thus explain the meaning of now is the world of God Ushitoro no Konjin. God appeared at the front. This God Ushitoro no Konjin, Kunitoko Tachi no Mikoto, the world ancestor, possessed now Deguchi. Uh, this is the of the Saki and the writing desk used by the foundress now. The daily life of the foundress now. The daily life of the foundress now was quiet and modest, and it was full of delicacy and Consolation. Regardless of a believer or of an unbeliever, whoever met the foundress was equally strongly affected by her divinity and purity. In her attitudes was a stillness, resembling a monk of a traditional temple. A theater goer. Said with admiration, seeing the attitude of the foundress, that delicate dignity cannot be imitated by any good actor. The foundress was a person of beautiful skin. The silver hair shone divinely and was full of. Undeniable dignity. She was always quiet and modest, like the beautiful moss moistened with water. She had in her mind the harmony, respect, purity, and quiet known in the world of tea ceremony, and showed a taste of a great tea master even without learning. The tea. In addition, she was a simple and strong, strong person. Such daily life, 
spontaneously influenced those around her, became a wordless guideline, and imperceptibly made tradition of Omoto. Memories of the Founders Now by Nao Hideguchi. Nao's granddaughter, Naohi, the third spiritual leader, noted down the following memories of the Founders. Grandmother used to tell me all the stories night after night. So eagerly awaiting the arrival of the evening, I went to spend the night in my grandmother's room. A lantern shadow of the night deepened the stillness, and I was able to spend a satisfying time for myself. In the night dress with the stripes of tamba weaving, we, with the younger sister Umeno, from both sides, competitively clung to the grandmother. Even evening, every evening, we were forced to hear the same story. But in spite of that, the story seemed that for some reason we were packed with sorrowful truth. Sorrowful truth. I think now that my grandmother's storytelling had a sweet sentimentality, that the grandmother also had freshly young days in her youth, and I imagined it as heartwarming scenes. My grandmother was holding something fresh in her mind, as if she were still a pure virgin. Born in a poor merchant house, my grandmother had to leave home to work as a servant in her childhood, and even when she had a family later, she experienced a lot of suffering. But she did not have a shadow of the hurt that is often with a person in such a situation. In the time of my childhood, I saw among the ladies of former samurai houses matron, matrons of high dignity. My grandmother shared dignity and tenderness as if she had grown up in a samurai family. She had, in addition to tenderness, also decided rectitude in conduct. My grandmother always simply wore a kimono made of hand weaving cotton. I can never see such a personality in my vicinity. That reminds me of my longing for is a look with a beautiful shadow that my grandmother showed when a factory whistle blew before dawn. The whistle rang for a long time and I had awakened from sleep because of it. My grandmother had already gotten up and approached me and whispered in a voice of consolation. Now the working girls of the Filature factory are forced to be awakened. My grandmother did not have an experience to work in the factory, but from her childhood she had experience spinning for silk thread. She tasted more than enough the suffering of the employees, so she imagined the life of the factory girls, and she always felt tears. 
also at the sound of the steam locomotive's whistle that crosses the waves of the tiled roof in the moist, mountainous morning, my grandmother must have considered the pity of the factory guards and felt pain in her chest. To me, a childish granddaughter, as if to confess the pain of her breast, she told that now the miserable day of the factory guards would begin. My grandmother also told me many times that I feel sorry for the soldiers. Even then, she said this with the same sadness that she had shown to the factory guards. My grandmother broke up with her second son, Seikichi, due to the Sino-Japanese War from 1842 to 18, from 1894 to 1895. Since she clearly saw the misery of war and the people, she had a particular feeling. My grandmother had already gotten up before it was becoming bright in the summer, and gotten up during it was still dark in the winter. After getting up, washing her face, she combed her hair with clean water, as if on her hand to accept the gratitude of water. She always combed her thin and beautiful hair with water. My grandmother tied up her hair tightly and prayed to God. Her voice during chanting Shinto prayer was very transparent and but trembling like that of a bell. That was a really queer voice, unimaginable that voice was come from the aged person, and the sound of her voice made the listeners heart purify and calm. It was a voice shining like a pure a pearls of dew dripping from a tree, tree after rain had fallen. When I heard my grandmother dedicating a prayer to God in such a voice, tears fell from my eyes drop by drop. I felt my soul being shaken, and I always eagerly listened to my grandmother's prayer. My grandmother's prayer listened to in the morning and in the evening strongly communicated to my blessed directly the spiritual beauty of my grandmother and made it unforgettable for me. My grandmother had a meal extremely quiet in front of a tiny vermilion lacquered dining table, she used three vermilion lacquered bowls and a hundred chopsticks with a very audible sound, and she ate. Because uh, ceramics could easily damage the surface of the tiny table, and also she tried to avoid making a touch sound of the surface. My grandmother liked to use lacquerware. The stillness of the figure eating a small rice with hot water poured over remains for me the most impressive. With a feeling of gratitude to the heaven and the earth, she treated appreciatively everything. She was eating as coming from the ground. She obliged herself stri uh, strictly 
to keep eating simple meal. One soup and one vegetable. She often ate cooked vegetables or boiled vegetables, miso soup with tofu, or a remembrance of soy soup once a month were luxurious meals. That was a small meal, unimaginable by the people of nowadays, but at the point that she gratefully ate in thanking the favor of heaven and earth, there is out of question a great difference. When the grandmother took a meal, the figure was really quiet, clean, and noble. She was in a space that made her feel that way. However, once we approached, something soft and familiar air there. And before God or people, uh, before people, she made no distinction. My grandmother, who lived modestly through the days of purity herself, with a pious heart, was a real tea master, I thought. The founders now had never eaten a full of stomach in her lifetime. In her youth, she could not eat due to poverty. And in her later life, she avoided to eat a full of stomach. It was because there are many hungry people in the world. She thought herself should do not eat enough. For such a compassionate heart, she did so. Also, because she had played that great difficulty of the world become small, and it was also an atonement act she had assigned to her. Ascension to heaven of the founders now. The founders now did not go out of the site of Omoto of 1917, approximately. Exclusively, she served at the altar. Eagerly, she wrote of the Saki in front of the altar. But in May of 1918, of the Saki abruptly ceased. When asked why, the foundress replied, For some reason, lately God doesn't let me write. And all day long, she piously wrote talismans and amulets. One night in November 1918, it was very cold night and Sumiko, the second spiritual leader of Omoto, put a heater in the foundress's bed and called out, I wish you going an early bed. The foundress replied, Yes, yes. Well, well, that's the end of my service. I will do as you say. Sumiko recounted in a later year, that it was impressive. On the night of November 5th, the foundress said, let someone play at the altar instead of me tonight. Until then, she had fulfilled, fulfilled the prayer, no matter how tired she was. Even in a severe winter, she sat on a land rush mat on the wooden floor in front of the altar, and in the morning and evening she prayed for the peace and happiness of the world. She prayed for letting the great difficulty become small, and the small become nothing. On this day, the foundress said, 
as follows and went to bed quietly. God say, you no longer need to play. From tomorrow, Onisaburo will play. In the morning at 7 o'clock the next day, the foundress, who had risen to wash hands, fell down on the corridor. Onisaburo, the co-founder of Moto, ran to the pillow and looked into the foundress's face. The foundress opened her eyes narrowly, addressed something to Onisaburo. Then a state of coma continued, and at 10.30, the foundress went to heaven in peace. On November 6, 1918, now Deguchi was 83 years old. The Muslim tomb was made in Tenno Daira, two kilometers southwest of Omoto in Ayabe. But with the Omoto incidents later, it was even twice forced to redo or relocate. Moving a grave is the most rude act. The foundress, who could not have a single quiet day in her life, did not even have a grave to live in peace. She had to suffer even after death. However, the Omoto incident had also been resolved and the Muslim had returned to its original figure. Now the tomb of now quietly is lying in Tenno Daira in Ayabe. Uh, this picture is mostly tomb in Tenno Daira Ayabe. This is a poem by Foundress. Now is the time when the light is fading from the world. I long for oil to feed the flame. Thank you very much uh, for joining me. See you again.